When the Force Awakens trailer first hit screens, the only question in my mind was who on earth is this awesome looking bad guy with the cross guard lightsaber. I mean, dreams were shattered, expectations were smashed, can't go back. We can't right the wrongs, and despite what Ryan Johnson would say, you can't forget the past, you certainly can't kill it. Notwithstanding any issues I have with the sequel trilogy, Ray Skywalker. There's no denying that it gave us one of the coolest lightsabers. And today we're gonna take a look at Disney's toy entry into this line. These are all effectively plastic versions of the legacy lightsabers that are produced by Disney, sold primarily at Galaxy's Edge, but now becoming available at Shop Disney. These are available on shopdisney.com. Some of these are available at the .co.uk website, but most of them aren't. I had to get this one shipped by Double Box Toys. They are absolutely phenomenal, great customer service, highly recommend them. I'll stick a link to their website below. Let's take a look at this sucker. Ignore the packaging, the packaging's horrific. Horrendous. It's absolutely naff, but this is a toy. This is $30, three plus, laughable. Let's get in. I don't know why they do it, but getting into the packaging on these lightsabers is harder than wrestling an angry badger. You get this bit of card, gives you the age rating, 35 inches when fully assembled, so that blades in, lighter blade, motion sensor, sound effects, and vibrating hilts. So it's got a bit of clash on flash. Flash on clash, flash on clash. So anyway. Oh, oh God. You get this lovely blade these lovely little cross guard blades. These look interesting. And then you get a little micro cover tech clip. You get the hilt itself. And I have to say, I actually think this is beautiful and kind of makes me want to get the legacy one. But maybe not badly enough because that sucker is expensive. Anyway, this has a really good build quality feel to it. I'm loving the copper up here. I will show you this compared to some of the Hasbro versions I've got in a second, but just taking a close look at this, beautiful. Really, really good attention to detail on this. Feels like they've actually taken their time. The size on this is good. I mean, this is where the three plus is laughable. I'm a fully grown adult. Granted, I'm teeny tiny with squishy little hands, but that's adult sized. <laughs> I don't care what you tell me, Disney. So you've got your ignition button here and somewhere. Aha. So down here, you've got your on, off, and it's currently in try me mode. So it gives you a little hint. So very distinctive Kylo Ren ignition and uh, you know, lightsaber hum, I suppose I always call it. With the exception of that screw and that screw, it doesn't look that bad. You know, from this side round, whether you've got your ignition button, you wouldn't know that that was a toy, I don't think. Before I put the blades in, I'll show you this next to the Hasbro comparisons. This is the Hasbro Flick Blade. And I don't really think there's a competition there. Size-wise, they're about the same size. But you can see, I mean, this is this is one of the Blade Builder ones. It's pretty naff. And until now, this is the only one that you could get where you had no, no blade, you know, hilt only, I suppose. So, pretty naff. Doesn't look that great, does it? Blah, blah, blah. Clearly a toy. Much more collectible vibe on this. Hasbro round two. Basically got the same paintwork as the other one because it's Blade Builder again. The only difference is this one's got electronics. That's enough compare and contrast. Let's get the blade in. They work the same as the Legacy line, but with a difference. So, battery pin, it's got teeth here, drop and lock. There is going to be a way to swap the blades out and I will cover that in another video because it requires a little bit of customization. So you line up the teeth there, drop it in, push, lock. Doesn't tell you that it's in, but... That's probably turned it out of test mode. So these have also got teeth, as you can see here and they line up in there. Nice and simple. It's the same push, twist. And you, and you can see the main blade ignites and then these two follow. I'll show you in the dark in a second, but first off, let's check out the motion. Hmm. Yeah, there's no motion there. That's, that's possibly the worst one I've seen. Okay, all right, let's see what the clash is like. Okay, there's a good flash of clash. There's no motion pick up there at all. Nothing to tell me I was moving this lightsaber at all, not one little bit, but there's a nice flicker in the blade. It's not bad, it's not bad. You know, in terms of the sound effects on it, I do think actually if you, 
compared it to the flick blade with electronics from Hasbro, uh, I actually think that's I think that's a better better electronics wise as a display hill goes. This is okay. You can, of course, uh, insert the blades from the others into this. It's not going to do anything. It's going to hold in place with friction alone. It took a, bit of, it took a while to pull out, but uh, it's not exactly secure and it's not going to light up. But if you wanted it on display like that, you could do. There you have the Kylo Ren offering from Disney. Is it worth the money? Again, you know, this is only a $30 toy. If you want something that's going to replicate the Kylo Ren saber, I think I would probably go for this. Size wise, it is adult sized. I don't care what Disney say with their age ratings. It's not going to break the bank and it's going to give you exactly what you want. The Kylo Saber on display. If you wanted to display it this way around, to be honest, I'd just paint the two screws. Job done. And it's still going to look pretty good. Do I recommend buying it? Only if you're desperate for a cross guard Kylo Saber. If you've got an opportunity to buy one of these Shop Disney lightsabers, I would recommend any of the others over this one because so far this has been the worst.